Next up in 88 films, Jean-Claude Van Damme range that they're putting out is uh, Universal Soldier The Return from 1999. Now this was a, a big budgeted movie that was released into the cinemas and marked the return of Van Damme to the big screen. This was supposed to be a big breakout movie and it kind of went like a dull thud rather than anything else, failing miserably. But re going back to this one, it's been a long while since I've seen it, I was enamoured by how 80s it feels. Although it's set in 99, it feels as if it belongs in the mid to late 80s. And the plot is rather inconsequential and rather familiar as well, as we have Luke Devereaux, our Universal Soldier, who we're missing out parts two and three and pretending they didn't exist, jumping straight in to the return. And we have him who works for Unisol, uh, dealing with the next generation of the Universal Soldier. And of course, there is this uh, AI called Seth, who, when it's not working complex algorithms and dealing with these soldiers, babysits Luke's daughter for him. And uh, we get a, a politician uh, has made a decision that they're going to close this program. It's costing too much money. And Seth, the AI, who can lip read and can hear, uh, understands that he's about to be dismantled, shut down, and decides to take precautions to stop that from happening. Activating the soldiers and turning this building into a war zone so he can free himself. That's pretty ludicrous, but that's what I kind of like about it. This is all about big explosions, you know, louder, uh, bigger, brasher than they possibly should be, but incredibly fun because of it. It has that kind of feeling where no one's going to get bloody. You know, people will take the incredible punishment and just bounce back. People will be shot and they won't get hurt. There is minimal human characters and the rest are cyborg genetic monsters that can't be stopped. You get Bill Goldberg in this one, who is a riotously funny character. One who is constantly getting his ass handed to him by Van Damme, but is constantly coming back for more. This is the kind of movie that, when they go to a hospital later on, there is a security guard who is a muscle-bound freak. Understandably, we need a big security guard for Goldberg to battle against. But once that guard is taken out, we get two orderlies who seemingly are bigger and more muscle bound than the guard. And you just get this funny feeling that is this whole hospital populated by uh, physical specimens? You know, people who spend their time working out when they're not helping people. It just seemed ludicrous that everybody that came out seemed to be larger and more muscle bound than the one before. But it was kind of funny that way. It's not a good movie. It's not a great movie. It's one that's just immensely fun when you take it on face value. There is a hell of a lot of action in this movie. One that really was impressive. The explosions are grand and big and in your face. Van Damme is at his best fighting away these various characters. Like I've said, it feels as if there's no real weight behind the movie. You kind of know uh, the finale that's coming. You know that nobody's going to be seriously hurt. And at the end of the day, it's going to be as happy an ending as we could have got for all these characters. That being said, I had a hell of a lot of fun with this movie. I loved the needless explosions. I loved the needless uh, amount of bullets that were fired, the amount of fight scenes that are added, the crazy one-liners and the stilted performances from some of the character. It all added to the aesthetic and I really enjoyed Universal Soldier The Return more than I expected to. Pleasantly surprised and one that I would happily watch again. The kind of movie you'd throw on late on a Saturday night when you're feeling a little bit tired and you want something just to switch off to. I'd love to know your thoughts on Universal Soldier The Return. Let me know in the comment box below and I'll see you next time on Man V Film.